Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss the mechanism of release of neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters are released into the synaptic cleft in both the fast as well as slow chemical transmission. But the mechanism involving their release are common for both these transmissions. There are two basic patterns of release. First is the release due to action potential. And second release of neurotransmitter without action potentials that is non-spiking release. Dear students, most neurons release neurotransmitters when an action potential reaches the exon terminals. The mechanism involves the activation of voltage-gated calcium channels which allow the entry of calcium ions into the exon terminal. When calcium ions bind, uh, enter the cell, they bind to a protein molecule on the inner surface of the membrane at special sites which are called release sites. It means that when calcium ions terminal mein enter in the terminal, they bind to a membrane par mojood, ek special protein. Ke bind karte hain. Ye protein उस रिलीज साइट पर मौजूद होती है इसलिए उस जगह को जहां पर यह प्रोटीन मौजूद हो जिसके साथ कैल्शियम आयन बाइंड करते हैं उसे रिलीज साइट कहते हैं द बाइंडिंग ऑफ कैल्शियम आयंस कॉजेस द रिलीज साइट्स टू ओपन थ्रू द मेम्ब्रेन रिलीज साइट्स ओपन होंगी और एज ए रिजल्ट द वेसिकल्स व्हिच कंटेन द न्यूरोट्रांसमीटर इन देम आर रिलीज देयर neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. Dear students, neurotransmitter ki release ke liye is tarah se do bade important factor hain. Pehla, ek action potential pohunche aur dousri baat calcium ions ka exon terminal mein inflow ho. Ye dono factors essential hain neurotransmitter ki release ke liye. जब एक एक्शन पोटेंशियल खत्म होता है और कैल्शियम आयंस का इन्फ्लक्स खत्म होता है तो साथ ही न्यूरोट्रांसमीटर की रिलीज भी बंद हो जाती है डियर स्टूडेंट्स न्यूरोट्रांसमीटर्स आर जनरली रिलीज्ड एज पैकेट्स व्हिच कंटेन अबाउट 2000 टू 10000 मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ न्यूरोट्रांसमीटर इन देम this is known as the quantal release. Because we normally use packets for quantum cover. So, when we use a quantum release, then we use quantal release. Dear students, we have told you that the membrane is a membrane, a neurotransmitter release. Depolarization, yani action potential ke saath related hai. So, the probability of quantal release increases if the presynaptic membrane is depolarized due to action potential. Now, the amount of released neurotransmitter is directly proportional or directly related to the depolarization. More the depolarization of the membrane of the terminal, more is the release of neurotransmitter molecule. Or agar depolarization come hogi ya weaker action potential hoga, to as a result, neurotransmitter bhi come produce hota hai. Dear students, kuch neurons aise hain jo action potentials generate hi nahi karte. Lekin, unke exon terminals pe bhi neurotransmitters ki release hoti hai. Aisi release ko non-spiking release kehte hai. In these neurons, the information transfer occurs 
by electrotonically conducted graded potentials. In this case too, the amount of transmitter released depends on the membrane potential and depolarization. 